up guys, Frank from AFTV Young Guns here and today I'm going to be previewing the Arsenal vs Everton game. Now, this is our final game of the season guys and it's probably one of the most important games that we've ever played. That is because if we win this, we've got a chance of making Champions League. If we don't win this, we're stuck on Thursday nights in Europa League somewhere in Kazakhstan probably. And that could mean the end of a 19 year streak. This, this was before I was born, guys, of Arsene Wenger making Champions League. If we don't make Champions League, does that give him a reason to be sacked? In the last game that we played, we beat Sunderland 2 0, but it was a very, very poor performance, in my opinion. And Everton beat Watford 1 0. Um, a bit of a shock was that I'm pretty sure Everton should have beat Watford more than that. But a win's a win. Now there's a bit of a battle, inside a battle for this match. Alexis Sanchez versus Romelu Lukaku. Now, I think whoever wins this game, one of them two players will get on the score sheet, therefore winning that Golden Boot trophy. And I think, you'll, you'll see in my predictions guys, but I think Alexis Sanchez is going to get this Golden Boot because I think Arsenal are going to walk out 1-0 winners. Now, there's not a lot of confidence in that as you can tell by my voice. Because I'm not happy about the position that we're in, and we're not we're struggling to make Champions League, guys. It's not it's not acceptable, I don't think. And obviously, there's the argument of oh, there's no point of us being in the Champions League because we get knocked out to Bayern Munich anyway. Where's the heart in that? Where's the heart in that statement, guys? We need true supporters on this one. Now, if we're going to even have a chance of getting into Champions League, we need Middlesbrough to get at least a point at Anfield, and Middlesbrough have just been also confirmed to be relegated as well, and. Liverpool are in that Champions League spot that we want, so it's looking really unlikely. But, fingers crossed guys, Liverpool will slip up like Gerrard did all them years ago. I'm hoping that, we, I'm, I'm praying, I'm not, really, I'm not a very religious person, but I'm praying that we can get something here guys, because I want that Champions League trophy so, so bad. Only one thing from the Arsenal team news guys, and it's Koscielny is set to rejoin the squad which would probably mean Monreal would be taken out of the centre back position and placed back out on left wing back as you'll see in my starting 11 prediction. Everton on the other hand are without Funes Mori, Yannick Balassi and obviously Seamus Coleman after his leg died <laughs> and this could be the final game for their attacking mid Ross Barkley who's been at the club since he was 11 but it looks like he's going to be moving on to bigger things. So as I said a minute ago I'm going for a 1-0 Arsenal I'm feeling pretty confident, but not that confident, especially after that Sunderland game. The team that I've used for this match, in goal, Petr Cech, there's no argument about that. He must keep his place. The three at the back, I'd bring Koscielny back in instead of Monreal, Rob Holding and Skodran Mustafi. Monreal will go back out to the left wing back, which means Kieran Gibbs will be going on the bench. And Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is fit now, fully fit, so he slots back in at right wing back. Same as usual in the centre, Granit Xhaka and Aaron Ramsey. And there's a bit of a change in the attack. On the right, I'd put Meza Ozil. Uh, there's no one else that we can really put there. I guess we could put Theo. But Theo's... Ugh. It's a tricky one, guys. But I'm going to put Meza Ozil there. Then on the left, Alex Awobi, guys. That is because I'm putting Sanchez up front. It is crucial that he gets that golden boot trophy. And to get that, he needs to play striker, guys. I'm pretty sure he'll be the one to score the goals. I mean, I did get it right in the last prediction on the simulation... Sunderland, we scored twice in the simulation on FIFA and Sanchez scored both of them goals. And in real life, we beat Sunderland 2-0 and Sanchez scored both of the goals. So maybe you can repeat that in this game and win the golden boot. But guys, let me know how you, you think the game is going to play out and what you think the score is going to be. I've never been so scared in my life, guys. I want this Champions League place so, so bad. Thanks for watching this preview, guys. I've been Frank from AFTV Young Guns. See you guys next time. Peace.